good morning guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason Carr. This is my 2009 Kia Sportage, codename Bubbles. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome back to the channel. So guys, today is Saturday and we are waiting for two vehicles to be dropped off here today on a transport hauler. One of them happens to be our new shop truck. As you may recall, we've sold our shop truck back a few months ago and I will put that link right up here so you can go back and see that. But we've had all summer to find another truck that we can fix up, get it ready for a plow and start using it for the shop. So having said that, that is what we are waiting for here today is we are waiting for that truck and another vehicle to get delivered and uh, hopefully we'll get some footage of that for you. But before we go any further, I wanna come back and talk to you about Bubbles. And the reason why we're calling this project Bubbles is because I asked you guys on Instagram and on my Facebook to come up with a great name for the Kia Sportage project. And my pal Fred, uh, who is on Instagram at wittier than all, he suggested we call it Bubbles and how truly fitting for a Canadian. Bubbles from Trailer Park Boys and the fact that this thing has plenty of rust bubbles on it. So from here on out guys, we're gonna be calling the Kia Sportage Bubbles. Thanks Fred, it was great. And thanks for everybody who participated in giving us a few names and suggestions on what we're gonna call the Kia project. So we do have a few new pieces on the lot this week and I wanted to share those with you as long as the wind isn't uh, too terrible on this footage. We've got this 2013 Dodge Dart, a 2015 Kia Sorento, a 2014 Ford Escape, a 2011 Kia Sorento, as well as the 2012 Nissan Versa. And here sits the 2011 Jeep Compass. Now you guys will recall the Compass has a bad transmission. We sent that to the auction and we simply just couldn't find enough interest in it at the auction because who wants to buy a vehicle that they have to do a transmission job on. So I decided that uh, I'd give my buddy Dale a call and say, Dale, listen, next time you're in Fredericton with your flatbed, could you bring this baby home? So he said, yeah, no problem. He dropped it off on Thursday. And we've got a transmission here out of a 2016 Jeep Compass with only 20,000 kilometers on it. We're gonna drop that in next Thursday and Friday is the day that I've got booked off in the shop to make that, sw uh, to make that switch. So hopefully by the beginning of the following week, we'll have this one ready for sale. And if you didn't get a really good look the other day in Saturday's video of the trade-in on the Nissan Road, transport company still hasn't come to pick this up yet, but this is a 2011 Mercedes C300 all-wheel drive. What a beauty. Folks, there's a couple of our vehicles. So, this little Kia is ours, and so is the truck. So, this is our 2015 Kia Rio 5, and it's a EX model or an LX Plus I guess. It's loaded right up, really nice. I can already see it's got a bulge in the tire there. Winter tires. And the truck, some rusty rockers. But we knew that. And she's got some uh, paint chipping around there and up around the cap. And it was a city vehicle. The truck driver just blew a line. Hydraulic line. So I didn't quite know what to expect. When the truck showed up to deliver, it looked like an old truck. A trailer, the same thing. And just as soon as he turned the pump on for the hydraulics for the trailer, it blew a line. So something tells me. It's a little bit of a fly-by-night place. So the 
vehicles got delivered, my new shop truck, the Kia Rio, we got the hydraulic fluid all cleaned up off the driveway and Buddy was on his way, no problems at all. So I wanna go back a little bit and talk about bubbles. And the reason why I wanna talk about bubbles is because be he's going to be a project and I don't wanna spend a lot of money on this project. So I'm setting a budget of 500 bucks, Canadian, uh, to do a few things to the vehicle that we want to do to quote unquote redneckify the Kia Sportage. So the three big things that I'd like to see done, no thanks to the comments from you on my Instagram and on my Facebook, are we're gonna try and lift, uh, do a little bit of a suspension lift on the vehicle and the only thing that I can find out there are the leveling kit type spacers that you put uh, between the strut mount and where the strut actually mounts on the inner fender. So I can find those things and the maximum I can find is like two inches so we're going to do a two inch lift all the way around. Uh, that is going to cost me about a hundred bucks and the other thing that I want to do is I want to put some good tires on it. Now I know we talked about tires and whether or not <clears throat> this thing was going to get us through the winter. And I, I think what we're going to do is we're going to fix the subframe like I said. We're going to put the ball joint in like I said and we're going to stuff the rocker panel hole uh, likely full of uh, expanding foam just to keep the water and everything out of it for the winter. So because the inspection sticker is good until April, um, it gives me something to drive that's not taking something off the lot during the winter time. So having said that, we've got to put tires on it. But again, because I have such a limited budget, we're going to limit that to used tires, but we want to go a little bit bigger than what's on it. So we're going to lift it up. We're going to put some bigger tires on it. Last but not least, we are going to paint bubbles. Uh, I'm not quite sure what color yet, but in the back of my mind, I'm thinking we're going with rattle cans and we're likely going to go some sort of a camouflage color. So I don't know if I'm going to go with a full detailed camouflage with several colors or if I'm just going to go with like an army green. I know that one of my YouTube buddies, Driven by Gears Tony, has this two-wheel drive long box Chevrolet pickup that he's got painted kind of an army green color. Granted, his is textured because I believe it's like a box liner type material that he's got that thing covered in, but it looks amazing. I love the color. So I'm thinking of going with maybe a green, like an army green, or maybe a combination of a couple of army greens to, to do something with it. So that'll involve sanding it down, uh, taping it up, and then just going to town with the rattle cans. So again, my budget's 500 bucks. I'm guessing that the lift kit is gonna be somewhere in the $100 ballpark. The used tires, uh, we have used tires at the shop, so uh, those shouldn't cost a whole lot, maybe a couple hundred bucks. And then we've got the paint that we're gonna have to buy. So if we do go with rattle can, uh, it's gonna take a lot of cans. But because we also have a spray gun, I'm gonna cost average to see whether it's more efficient to go with 10 rattle cans or just buy like a half gallon of paint or a quart of paint to spray it with the uh, spray gun and reducer and all that stuff. So 500 bucks is the budget that we're putting on bubbles and uh, we're not even gonna fix the rust, we're just gonna paint over it. Like I said, this is going to be a throwaway vehicle when we're done, but we're gonna make a bunch of episodes on each one of those projects so that you can follow along and see what we're doing. Guys, thank you so much for all your comments on bubbles. The introductory video of the five slash Six things that you should not do to your car went over really well. I loved all the feedback, lots of comments. You guys are interacting and I really, really appreciate that. So we're gonna keep going with it. We're gonna keep making more videos and we are going to redneck the crap out of this Bubbles Project vehicle. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below because we do have more action coming your way. Like this video comment down below what you think of all the stuff that we're doing with this bubbles project and remember always focus on the windshield not the rearview mirror guys i love you god bless we will see you in the next upload